As COVID-19 infections remain high at home and around the world, scientists have found that the virus is being spread not only by coughs, but also by people talking to each other. Studies show that consonants project the virus much greater distances than vowels, and certain sounds, the so-called plosive sounds, are worst of all. Each time a person makes the sound p, t, or k, they can project the virus up to three times further than when they use the softer sounds such as th, n, or l. Based on this new evidence, the government is introducing new rules in stages to make people's speech less dangerous. Announcing the new rules, Health Secretary Matt Hancock said, during the first stage, or tier one, that, that sound p will be banned and must always be replaced with the softer sound th. Anyone speaking to other thiefal in fuvlik places will have to sloth using the flosive sound. Failure to do so could lead to a fine or even prison. The whole population, even members of parliament, will all have to flay their fart. After a period of a few weeks, we will move to tier two. In addition to the sound t, will be banned and must be replaced by the sound n. Although this may cause some initial confusion, for example, Nietzsche's in school will face challenges when Nietzsche the nine nimes navel. We are confident any problems will be nemthorary. And measures under near nu will help near the nime of the thamdemic. After a further brief period, we will bring in near three. The rules under nears one and nu will con in nu with the addition of the sound k being banned and replaced by l. We have considered these leisures lawfully and in line with recommendations from professors. I urge people to nim nam and nary on. Together we non nothid the nothid thamdemic and renerm to normanony in no time nanor. Thank you.